Animal Watch has filmed almost every large breed of dog in the world and also met them in the flesh. So this guide is the most truthful guide on YouTube, as not only will I tell you real facts directly from owners and breeders' mouths about these immense dogs, you can also see me meet them face to face and how they treat me. So today I will show you the top 10 largest dog breeds I've ever filmed here on Animal Watch and my goodness are they huge. They're so huge you're going to think I've clickbaited you, but I honestly haven't. Animal Watch is the only channel to exist in the world where we have filmed the largest dog breeds on planet Earth up close with our own film crew and presenters. So which dog do you think is our number one largest dog in the world? Remember to hit that subscribe button, don't go away. and I'm a wolf and alpha dog breed expert. I've traveled the world meeting the world's largest alpha dog breeds and I can honestly say I think I've now met almost every single last one of the largest breeds on planet Earth. So today I'm going to analyze 10 of the largest ones in the world and list them in order of height and weight. Which one do you think wins the world's largest? Now some will be taller than others, but others heavier. So today I'm going to go on height first and weight second. So let's begin. In reverse order at number 10, the Molossus. The Molossus is a modern day recreation of the oldest war dogs in history. Recreated by Marcus E. Curtis of Old World Molossus using Neapolitan Mastiffs and English Mastiffs, these dogs are some of the heaviest we've ever met on Animal Watch. The original Molossus accompanied soldiers into war in Mesopotamia and were once considered to be the most powerful and huge war dogs on planet Earth. Here you can see our American host Ashley beating some of the gigantic examples. Their temperaments were excellent and never showed any aggression to Ashley or the film crew. These dogs are heavy and wide, but not quite as tall as some of the dogs we're going to be meeting next. And this is why he's in 10th place. The heaviest Molossus has been weighed at around 120 pounds, which is 54 kilograms, and stands approximately 30 inches at the withers and six foot on their hind legs. In ninth place, we have the Caucasian Shepherd. Another giant flock guardian, but one with width and height. Standing up to 30 inches at the withers and our large Maximus weighing 120 pounds approximately, which is around 50 kilograms. This dog has the largest head and jaws I've ever seen on Animal Watch and a stare that says, I will protect my master at all costs. He sits in the cold mountains defending flocks from predators such as wolves and bears and his huge weatherproof coat stops any predators from biting through to his throat. His massive wide mastiff jaws make sure he can hold on to anything and it's not going anywhere. Fiercely loyal to his owner, this dog is not something a trespasser would enjoy coming across on his hiking adventures. I've taken some of the most unbelievable photos with Caucasian Shepherds and they truly deserve their place here in the world's largest dogs. In eighth place we have the Iranian Sarabi and Central Asian Shepherd both tied in eighth place. So let's generalize this category as the alibi. Alibis are Central Asian flock guardian dogs used to protect against wolves and bears in the mountainous wilds. They have naturally become huge through both human selective breeding and also natural selection, as any frail or diseased one certainly would not survive out in the wilderness. So these dogs have a healthy size and a long life. The Iranian Sarabi is a lesser known flock guardian breed bred in Iran and the reason he's here at number eight as we had no idea how tall the males were before we met them in the flesh. Matching the well-known Central Asian Shepherd in height and body shape, these leggy dogs fell out into absolute beasts as they mature into three-year-olds with the males weighing up to 180 pounds and standing a tall 28 inches. The Sarabi and Central Asian Shepherd males are some of the tallest dogs we've ever met and stand almost as high as a small horse. These dogs are very independent and a little same-sex aggressive, so not very good in a small house. They will go stir-crazy. They thrive on freedom and acres of fields to guard. Don't expect them to be too obedient, as they are not bred as shepherd dogs, but to have the independent decision-making to defend someone's land on their own. 
In seventh place, we have the giant Alaskan Malamute. Now we have met some pretty huge Alaskan Malamutes here on Animal Watch, and yes, they do look like a cross between a wolf and a bear, but have absolutely no wolf content in them at all, and are far lazier around the house. Bred originally as freight pulling dogs by the Chukchi people in Alaska to pull in boats and pull up the rear of husky sleds. These dogs can be cranky sometimes, especially around food. Not all of them are dog friendly, but pretty much all of them are people friendly. The largest giant Alaskan Malamute said to exist weigh up to 180 pounds and stand at around 30 inches at the withers. Bred in the USA to be even larger than the regular Alaskan Malamutes and with a thick woolly coat, which the working types must not have. Otherwise, it would not protect them in snow and sleet. They are over double the size of a Siberian Husky. Some people think that the largest breed examples are not the healthiest and the smaller working types are far fitter and will live longer. Here on Animal Watch, I met the working, healthy types, and you can see how large these are, and they are the smaller ones. Imagine how huge the giant ones in the USA are. They are super cuddly, but very, very independent. Certainly not guard dogs and couldn't give a flying fuck if a burglar broke in. But what a visual deterrent to have looking over your fence. At number six, we have the huge lion-like Tibetan Mastiff. Now, like the Alaskan Malamute, we have the working Tibetan Mastiff and the larger, newly created, immense show Tibetan Mastiff. The working Tibetan Mastiff is large, but would never make our top 10. But the newly created larger show type definitely does. These new gigantic showy versions are sadly, though, often incapable of working and have been bred purely for size, coat and colour by recent breeders mainly in China, to create the largest specimens possible. They are huge balls of fur, but cannot work like the old working breed types, despite being photographed in fierce poses. I met a show type imported to the UK, and he was definitely huge, but he had to have multiple operations to remove the excess skin folds, so even though these dogs look impressive in colour and size, the lifespan is not so impressive. Yoshu in Tibet weighs a gigantic 250 pounds, which is 113 kilograms. He stands up to 35.5 inches at the withers, according to records. These gigantic dogs suddenly tower over some of their shorter handlers, which adds to the size illusion like here. However, they are certainly huge, so easily take number six in our top 10. In number five, we have two wolf types tied in fifth place, the high content wolf dog and wild northwestern wolf. Now, not all wolf dogs are tall, but the high contents can be extremely tall and leggy. Sometimes first generation crosses between the wolf and a dog can create offspring much taller than the actual pure blood parent wolf. Also, we will include the wild Northwestern wolf, otherwise known as the Canadian timber wolf here. Why are they larger than other wolves? Well, this is due to the prey source they hunt and the habitat they live in. They hunt the giant bison, elk and moose, and over time their size has increased to favour the survival of the larger, more powerful wolves. As it snows a lot too, the wolves have grown taller to be able to run over snowy terrain with longer legs than our other more southerly wolves. You can see in these sad images of hunted wolves that they are absolute giants. They weigh around 175 pounds, but there is a record of a hunted wolf of 230 pounds. But this has never been verified. They can stand up to a staggering 40 inches at the withers. And this is why they make our number five spot. At number four, the Malakli. We filmed two Malakli last year on Animal Watch, one more English Mastiff-sized and one more Great Dane-sized called Abu. Last time we met the young Abu, he was certainly huge, as tall as some of the Irish wolfhounds I had filmed. His owner Dylan has since claimed he is the largest dog in the UK, but as we couldn't get another chance to film the young Malakli to confirm if our young boy was larger than a Great Dane or Irish wolfhound, we have had to rank this breed in fourth place based on how he looked last time I saw him. Malakli males generally reach 33 inches at the withers and weigh around 70 kilograms, which is 187 pounds. 
However, Abu, the Malakli we filmed as a puppy, has recently been listed as weighing 18 stone, which for all our US viewers is 252 pounds, 114 kilograms, and standing seven foot when he's on his hind legs. That is really huge, and hopefully we can film him again soon so he can clarify his huge new size. This breed is naturally suspicious and bred as a flock guardian. They are known for being same-sex dog aggressive, so early socialization is paramount. The one I met was being socialized so amazingly well in order for him to be controllable once grown. Because once they fill into their muscle at three years old, the owner is not going to be able to hold one back if he decides to pull you forward. Also not known for obedience due to the stubborn flock guardian trait, he will be happy as Larry if given a field or land to guard. Now it gets tricky as we are left with three extremely large dogs. Luckily I have filmed with all three. It was a very hard decision to pick who would rank first, second and third, but I can only go on what I saw when I last filmed these dogs. So in third place at number three we have the English Mastiff. Known as the heaviest dog breed in the world, as some people have obese versions weighed into the Guinness World Record book, the fitter examples should not be as heavy. The heaviest ever recorded weighed 343 pounds and was called Zorba. He stood 37 inches tall at the withers. You should fear this dog as he was created to guard and any intruders will be wrestled to the ground fast with his pinning hold he is so famous for. When I met this breed, their naturally suspicious character meant that I had to be approved first and have them get used to me before they accepted me. A lovely dog, but with the downside of a shorter lifespan. He is truly a trusted guard dog and companion and considered to be vulnerable on the list of UK breeds. In second place, at number two, we have the Irish Wolfhound. The Irish Wolfhound, a personal favourite of mine, as he basically looks like Gandalf the Wizard, with a chilled out character which will leave you relaxed as he lazily lies about your house. But he is huge! I mean, take a look at Wilson of a stonely Irish Wolfhounds I filmed here jumping for food. He is 38 inches at the withers, 6 foot tall on his back legs, and 90 kilograms, which is 199 pounds. They are the height of a small horse. Not as thick as some of the Mastiffs, but size and presence make these guys beat them all. One Irish Wolfhound called Murphy from Manchester recently was crowned second tallest dog in the world. He stands a whopping 38 inches at the shoulder and seven and a half feet tall on his hind legs. But I'd say Wilson, who we filmed, isn't far off this and he's just a puppy. But what about the name Irish Wolfhound? Are they really wolf killers? Well, the dogs of old were, but what you see these days is a new recreation of the long extinct original wolfhound, using the slender shaggy deerhound and mixing him with Great Dane, as well as a few other breeds, the new modern day massive version was created. Can he still hunt? Well, the old version was a lot smaller, so probably not, but he is still very prey driven and will chase any animal out on a walk, but he is obedient, which means he loves to walk with his human. These gorgeous dogs at a stony Irish Wolfhound show size and good character, and I'm proud to place him at number two. And our winner is, as always, da da da, the Great Dane. Well, he's as tall, if not taller, than the Irish Wolfhound, and he is also a Mastiff, meaning he is heavy. Known as the tallest dog in the world, the males can weigh so much that the circulation of your legs will be cut off if one sits on you. The Guinness Book of Record tallest dog in the world goes to Great Dane Zeus, who stands 41 inches at the withers. Very, very stubborn, and if not trained young, you will not be able to train him as an adult. So if you need to move an untrained version as an adult, you absolutely will not be able to. We tried to move one whilst filming Animal Watch, but it took ages to get our one to move even a couple of inches. If untrained ones get into a fight, it's going to be very hard to break them up. Sadly, our Great Dane is not the healthiest dog, and many pass at age six to eight years old. 
So if you're after a healthy, massive dog, I will always recommend a flock guardian breed such as the Malakli or Alibi, as they are huge through natural selection mixed with human selection, and these giant breeds should live to 14, just like any healthy captive wolf should. However, flock guardian dogs are difficult, sometimes dog aggressive and stubborn. So I would add that only think of having one if you have a lot of land in the countryside. Now, there are a few giant breeds who didn't make our top 10, but we acknowledge that they were close, and these are the Burabel of Africa. These boys were heavy and totally squashed me, but their height is not that much, so they didn't make our top 10. They are, however, a personal favourite of mine as they are so affectionate. These guard dogs need business if the homestead owner sets them on you, as you are cattle rustling, so beware. The Tozer. Sadly, as he is banned from the UK, I have not had a chance to meet him and rank him. This heavyweight giant wrestles other dogs in Japanese fighting rings and apparently wins on wrestling points and never draws blood from his opponent. I would love to fly to Japan one day to film him. The Pyrenean Mountain Dog. I have filmed these fluffy giants, but they didn't quite make our top 10, as the females are quite significantly smaller than the males, and without their fluff, they are not as large as our top 10 dogs. Bull Mastiff. Large and muscly, but a lot smaller than the English Mastiff. Newfoundland. Large, yes, but just not as large as the other contenders. Leonberger. Large, but actually smaller in the flesh. Compared to the others, he just didn't make the top 10. Give us a thumbs up and if you enjoyed this episode, share and subscribe to Animal Watch for more accurate and fun dog and wolf facts. Bye for now.